Today I'm going to be showing you how women get the power and the upper hand in all relationships and in all interactions, okay? And if you can spot these things, whether it be consciously or subconsciously, not only are you going to be able to pass these tests, but you're 100% going to be able to maintain attraction. So stick with me until the end of this because this is a very important topic so that way you can understand how women get the power psychologically and subconsciously over you without you even realizing it. Now, once my marker board presentation's over, I want you to hit the link in the description. You check out the MBT webinar so you can learn and understand masculine behavioral techniques at the deepest level, which is truly the best and fastest way to keep a woman attraction and to actually get the women who you genuinely want. Okay, this is a very advanced concept, but I'm going to be breaking down specifically how women get the power in relationships over men. See, this is going to be counterintuitive to your thinking because you think, oh, I'm big and I'm strong. I'm masculine. I'm a leader. I'm 100%, you know, in charge of my own life. That's not how this goes. And you're going to see why. What you have to understand at a deep level to truly grasp this concept, and keep in mind, the, here's the guys who need this the most. You've been in a relationship for two months, three months, four months, six months, one year, two years, three years. You've invested time, you've invested you know, money on dates, you've invested your limited resources into this woman. You are going to 100% want to know and need to know how to not fuck things up if you actually plan on sticking with that person. So those are the instances that hurt the most is when you don't actually see them coming. So the prerequisite to this is you got to realize that it is a woman's job 24 seven to find reasons not to sleep with you. Read that out loud one more time. It's a woman's job 24 seven to find reasons to not sleep with you. See men look to qualify women, which means you're looking for reasons to sleep with her, whether it be she's attractive, she has a good personality, she has a big booty, doesn't matter what you say. That's the truth. Women look for reasons not to sleep with you. And here's what I mean. It's a woman's job 100% of the time to optimize hypergamy. Okay. This is why they test women want to date up. Okay. That's the whole essence of hypergamy is a feeling that you give her. Okay. That shows that you're higher value or above her. That's going to turn her on. So the second that you commit, you start to lower that psychological perceived value. Now, what you need to know if you're in a long-term relationship is the whole fact that you're getting tested in the first place. Okay. Is somewhat good. Okay, because it shows that she still cares about you. The second you should be very nervous in a relationship at all with a woman is if she stops testing you completely. If she stops testing you completely, she's exited the relationship mentally, she's exited the relationship emotionally, and she doesn't care at all. Meaning she doesn't care if you come or if you go. So if you're getting tested, to some degree, she still views you as a sexually viable option. Now you might be wondering, well, what are these main tests? Okay, the test that she's going to show or the test that she's going to be fishing for is not stage one test. Stage one test is going to be shit tests like showing up late for a date, okay, trying to like, you know, poke fun at you, see how you react, see if you're insecure, things like that. That's not how it works in relationship. The relationship test that you're going to be getting 24 seven is a psychological and subconscious question that goes on in that woman's head. And it says, how attached is he? Is he so attached that he's so weak he can no longer stand up to me? Is he so weak that he could never leave me even if I disrespect him? Is he so weak and is he so attached that he gets jealous okay, if other men are even around? Is he insecure if I you know, go take a trip to, uh, uh, let's say the shopping mall, I go take a trip to you know, whatever the case may be, I go out to brunch with my girlfriends, is he sitting there worrying 24 seven? These attachment tests, Reveal your sexual market value. A high value man with abundance of options would never fall to those tests because he knows that he could replace the woman at that beauty level or above. So these are things you have to be very observant of. She 100% of the time is hoping you pass the test, but is expecting that you will fail just like most men do. Why is she expecting that you will fail? Okay, because here's the cold hard fact and she knows this on a deep down level. Once you commit, she has all the power and it's just a matter of time. Sometimes this takes six months for you to turn into a weak and emasculated man. Sometimes it takes six years. Sometimes it takes 60 years. But regardless, women know on a deep down level that as soon as the man commits, the sexual market value is revealed. She has all the power and she has all the leverage. So what you have to understand is that the second you as a man commit to monogamy saying, yes, you are mine. Yes, I am yours. Yes, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. You gotta, you gotta really read this man because it, until you go through this stuff and, and you have some experience under your belt, these lessons won't sink in. Okay. But you need to let them sink in. So you don't make the mistakes that 99% of guys make the second you commit to monogamy, 
her behavior is going to change. For some women, the behavior changes rapidly. For other women, the behavior changes slowly over the course of months or years. But you are going to notice a decrease in desire. And I don't care if you're Drake, Leonardo DiCaprio, Chris Brown, Justin Bieber, Jason Statham, or Channing Tatum. Does not matter. The second you commit, you are now showing that you have less leverage than you did before. And I'm going to explain why. When you commit to monogamy, this is AKA being exclusive. Okay. Once you're exclusive, desire 100% will drop. Ask any guy, okay, who was with a woman. The second that he committed, typically the sex slowed down. He wasn't as big of a mystery. She started to get bored of him and eventually she exited the relationship because her heart just wasn't in it. This is how it works. There is no way around this. Okay. The reason why there is no way around this is because at some degree, once you say yes, you're mine and I'm yours, you've revealed your sexual market value. The only reason that a man would say yes and commit to a woman is because he knows that it is going to be very hard to replace a woman at that level of beauty, at that level of femininity, or at that level of attraction that he has for her. Once a woman sees that it would be very hard for you to replace her, this is when the insecurity, when the insecurity tests start to happen quickest. This is when she starts fishing at a deeper level for how attached you are. This is when she starts to actually turn on the tests at a deeper level to see if you're too weak to ever walk away. This is when it gets harder, not easier. What's happened is you've now revealed your sexual market value. Committing to a woman says on a some subconscious degree, yes, my queen, you're good enough. What do we know about men who tell women that they are good enough for the commitment? Hypergamy is no longer satisfied. The only way that hypergamy is satisfied 24 seven is if she, to some degree has to chase your approval. Okay. When she's chasing your approval, when she's chasing your validation, she naturally feels like you're better than her. Instead of her being on the pedestal, she almost feels like you're a catch that she has to lock down. This naturally puts you as a man with value on the pedestal. Once you've revealed your sexual market value and you've committed commitment says, yes, my queen, you're good enough. Whether you want to accept it or not at any income level, at any age, at any height, at any weight. And I don't care if you're jacked with a six pack, it reveals your SMV committing says, yes, you're good enough. Now what's going to happen is you're going to notice that her words start to never match her actions. So she's going to claim, okay, that she wants all of this on paper. If she had to write down a list of things she wants in a man, she's going to write down things like I want more of his time. I want more dates. I want more of his attention. I want a man who's honest. I want a man who's highly ethical, has high amounts of integrity, has a high moral compass and a guy who's consistently taking me out. So I feel like he's showing me off and he's putting effort in. This is everything that she is going to claim that she wants on paper. Regardless, women only give their best sex to arrogant men who typically will make them feel as if he is higher value than her. And that man does this through maybe being a, being, a, you know, snubbing her and not replying. This guy might do this through, you know, occasionally going days or even weeks while ghosting her and then randomly hitting her up when it's on his terms. This is the shit that men will do who actually get the sex. So you're going to notice that everything that she claims that she wants on paper isn't going to happen in reality. What happens in reality is respect 100% will start to drop. She doesn't value you to the same way before she thought it was so amazing that you're on a purpose before she thought it was so amazing. Maybe you were, you know, chasing success or you were attempting to build a business or maybe she thought it was so amazing that you had this abundant social life and you were well liked by people. All of a sudden respect starts to drop. You're no longer a mystery. You start to bore her. Okay. Not only that, the insect, the sexual intensity drops and the sexual intensity starts to drop because desire and the root of seduction. Okay. And having like some sort of real mutual sexual attraction that a woman has for a man, this tends to drop because a woman gets turned on through mental stimulation, that mental stimulation and that emotional connection only happens through time apart that mental stimulation and that emotional connection that actually fires her up sexually. This only happens when she is in some sort of state of urgency, wondering when she's going to get to see you again. Okay. Commitment lowers that psychological perceived value and she's no longer going to look at you the way that she did in the beginning. So here's what you have to understand. Hypergamy is subconsciously looking for a man who may not commit. As soon as you commit, you can make $20 million a year, have a hundred million Instagram followers. You can drive the nicest sports cars and be six foot seven with a six pack. Okay. The second that you commit, 
The second that you say, yes, you're mine and I'm yours and I'm not going anywhere, the exact second that you do that, hypergamy is subconsciously looking for a man who may not commit. The fact that you may not commit shows that you maybe have higher psychological perceived value, you have a higher sexual market value, and this is the type of man that she starts to get attracted to. So, all of you guys chasing self-improvement and materialistic status and materialistic success such as followers, such as likes, okay, such as things like looking cool on the internet or things like trying to get a lot of money because you think it's impressive, okay, you have to understand women are emotional and since they're emotional, the only way you stimulate those emotions is through the fantasies and the pictures that you create of the what if factor of her chasing your approval, okay? You're gonna notice you get the best sex when she asks herself, what if he will commit one day? But she's not necessarily sure if you will. The fact that she's in limbo gives her uncertainty. Uncertainty equals abundance in that woman's head, okay? Certainty equals scarcity. When that man's in scarcity, that's when she starts to remove her sexual attention that she had towards you. So the second that you commit to monogamy, you're going to notice that behavior slowly changes. Reason being is because she is now your only form of sexual access. A woman knows on a deep down level that she's your only form of sexual access the second that you commit. This is not good. The reason why this is not good is because hypergamy says that that woman, okay, and this isn't like to go, like if you guys actually have relationships right now, I'm not like pointing out the girl you're with specifically. This is women in general. She only wants to give the ass out to the highest value man, which means she only wants to get turned on for the highest value man. And oftentimes, okay, that man who is highest value, especially on the sexual level that she's looking for, is usually alpha, okay, is typically somewhat commitment phobic, okay, and is scared of commitment because then it's going to cut off the potential options that he would have, not to mention if he's more of an alpha guy, it's easy for him to get sex without needing to commit in the first place. He's usually commitment phobic, not to mention he usually gives little to none of his non-sexual attention. Little to no non-sexual attention. That means he limits his phone calls. He has no desire to text back or to text promptly. And because of that, he doesn't even feel a need to really give the woman his attention or his approval because he knows that since she likes him and has high desire, she's going to keep coming back regardless. This is what you're gonna notice from women who have strong emotional connection or pull to a man that they genuinely want. If she's your only form of sexual access, she has all the leverage. If she has all of the leverage, okay, she's now starting to become up on the pedestal. Before, when she had to chase your commitment and chase your approval, you were up here, okay? She was chasing your validation and that approval. The second that you commit, the tables start to turn, okay? And all of a sudden, as you fail more tests after more tests after more tests, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, those roles start to reverse to where she now looks down on you. And even though you may be bigger, taller, faster, stronger, make more money, more jacked, have a bigger social circle, the feeling of hypergamy is no longer satisfied. And she, start to, she starts to look down on you as a weaker option. Now she's, want to, now she's going to want to eventually chase and find a new guy's approval. So that way she can have something to chase and have that mystery and that intrigue in her life one more time. So. She only wants to give the ass out to the highest value man. She only wants to fuck the playboy. This is typically what you have to internalize and understand is the, the, the ways of love to which you've been programmed to believe are true is completely false. And not only is it a fantasy, it's completely false at the deepest degree. If she's your only form of sexual access, she has all the leverage, okay? Women hate having the leverage because now hypergamy is not satisfied. And women know that their sex has value to men because men want to screw. She knows that men want to screw. She knows that men want to bend that ass over and go to town. So because of that, she uses this to her advantage. You're going to notice that the sex slows down. She's going to try to get you more compliant. She's going to try to get you more submissive to her. So that way she has all of the reasons to leave because you've proved to her that you're attached. The second you prove any emotional weakness in any way, shape or form, this is the start to the end of the relationship permanently. So here's what you have to understand. Men and women both, we all love the idea of romantic like love on paper. We all love the idea of romance on paper, but commitment is a woman's game, not a man's. This is something that all men have to learn. The sooner you can learn this and understand this, the better off you'll be. Commitment in all ways, shapes, and forms, saying yes, we are a couple, or yes, this is you know my exclusive significant other. This is a woman's game, not a man's, and here's why. Men are supposed to be running the other way 24 seven from commitment and like being fearful of getting locked down. And the analogy that I wanna to make to you is this. If you have a woman who hangs out with you and let's say she's extremely forward, like she says she only wants sex right away, 
Okay, let's say she doesn't need, she doesn't she doesn't really want to do anything. She doesn't want to watch a movie, doesn't want to go grab dinner, nothing. If she looks at you and she says, I only want sex, and she wants it as quick as possible, this is a turnoff. And a woman knows that this is a turnoff to a man. This is the analogy I want, I want you to make is because she's operating out of somewhat of masculine energy. She's pursuing for sex quickly. This is something that men will typically do, especially if they have high attraction to a woman. And she's telling you exactly what she wants. So the man's going to sit there and go, hmm, how often does she do this? Does she do this a lot? And the guy's going to know that it's a turnoff. Here's the analogy that I'm going to make to you. This is exactly, that situation right there is exactly how women feel when the guy pushes for a relationship. She senses that something's just not right. And it's because that man's operating in his feminine energy. Whether he realizes it or not is up for debate and it's up for discussion, but it doesn't matter. This is the analogy that you have to understand this. Like if a woman pushes for sex extremely quickly, okay, and you're not getting tested at all, which means that she's pre-sold on you, this is going to raise some red flags in your head. That is the exact same turnoff if a woman just meets a guy, okay, and within a week or two, he's already pushing for a relationship or he's pushing for companionship and connection and trying to make that woman his girlfriend after just meeting her once or twice. This is not good. Commitment is a woman's game and it's a chase that she wants to play. It's something that she wants to be part of, okay? If you agree to committing, she has all of the power and she will have all of the power until you exercise other options and there's no way around this. You have to understand this, okay? Here's the analogy I use when it comes to committing or when it comes to relationships. If you decide to enter into a monogamous commitment with a woman, you're gonna be working three times as hard, so you're gonna put in three X the amount of work to keep that woman's attraction while having to pass three times the amount of tests while getting five to 10 times less sex. And the reason being is because sexual tension with a woman is only built through the mystery, the urgency, and the intrigue of not knowing where a guy stands because he's indifferent, okay? The second that you stop being indifferent due to the fact that you've committed, you've now given certainty. The second that you've given certainty, desire starts to drop. There is no way around that. No amount of money can fix that. No amount of awards can fix that and no amount of social status can fix that. The second you say, yes, my queen, you are good enough is the exact second that desire starts to drop. So this right here is how women get the power in any and all relationships. If you haven't noticed by now, they get the power by you saying yes to committing. The second that you commit is the second that she has leverage. By you saying, yes, I'm committed to you and only you is the second that you've stripped away all of your options and she now has the leverage in that relationship. If you like this video, I want you to hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.